related could just ignore go up sit there talk to someone or sleep or sometimes cry yes but i didn't i didn't show anyone anything like ours So, my bosses didn't want me to leave. They didn't want me to leave. And then, when we failed to, to settle that, they said they did some things and then they said at a company that I don't know how to work. So, everyone was laughing. Just everyone was looking at them as like, because I've complained. It's not my first time to complain at a company. And then they just they just ignored that because in our company if you work for one house for five months for five and uh, and above months they consider you to be a good worker so they consider you to be a good worker and I've been there in that house I was there in that house for one year and two months so when they brought that complaint about me because they didn't have anything to say about me i was good i was performing my work i was i was just doing what i had to do but just because i refused to stay with them because i didn't tell them they didn't know that i was leaving on that day okay i wanted to leave before but I decided to give it time to give it time to get ready and yeah I wanted to make a decision when I'm really ready so on that day I didn't tell anyone or show anyone that I was leaving I was tired I didn't show anyone that I was fed up but they used to annoy me it was too much I could just ignore go up sit there talk to someone or sleep or sometimes cry yes but i didn't i didn't show anyone anything like i was leaving or i was tired so on that day when i left uh, i woke up in the morning i performed my work the way i used to do it every day and after preparing lunch for them, I went up, I packed my bags because I knew I wasn't going to sleep in that house. Come what may, I wasn't going to sleep there. So uh, after that, I after, after they finished eating lunch, I came until it was around three. It was around three, I told them I want to leave they back to the company and then they were like why i said i'm tired i just want to go back that's it they say the company is not the company closed i was like no i'm just from talking to them i know the company is working it is there is no way it is there is no way you're going to tell me that it is closed yet People are working, people are going back, people are moving out, in and out. So I told them I want to go. And then the lady, their mother said, no, Shakira, it's okay. What's wrong? What's wrong? It's okay. We are sorry, blah, 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 blah. Because that's always, that's what they say always when uh, they annoy me. Sometimes if they find out that I'm not okay or they have annoyed me, she said, I'm sorry, because they knew I cared about her. She's old, you know, she's so, so old, but she's vulnerable. So they, they all knew I cared about her. So every time they annoyed me, they used to, they used to push her to me, to talk to me, of course, for me not to go. Because remember, in that very last year when I came, when I went in that house, in one month, they had lost three housemates in just one month. So when I entered there, 
they were fed up they were tired they lost they like they lost those maids due to their manners the family is big the house is so big like the house is supposed to be having three maids but it was only one I was one and like all those people left in one month they they couldn't turn that so when I went there I found their mother she was sick and then they spoke to me she was crying they were like they were all stressed so I was like let me give it a try because they bought me for for three months at first so I said let me give it a try so they were good in the beginning but and when I finished my three month contract they requested for other three months because they were good they pretended to be good people I accepted I accepted because of course you don't know where you're going to find a good house everyone is facing their houses differently the everyone is finding difficulties so i said let me give it a try so i accepted so that was the last time they requested they requested or they asked me to renew the contract after after that i think they bought other they bought me for other months many months they didn't talk about that but i'm patient so i found every way every way of being in that house of say staying positive and working for them of course i've been going through ups and downs but i always have this thing today is gone today is gone it's not going to come back again so that's what has been keeping me going and then when I got my sewing machine, whenever they could annoy me, I would just take my anger to that machine. I saw something I create. I talk to you guys. I, talk, I speak to people that I have to speak to. But I reached to an extent where my patience had reached to its climax. So I couldn't handle it. So after packing, I came back. I came down. I told them I wanted to go. They said they bought me. I have to work for them for two years. So they were like, "We just re renewed your contract, so you can't leave. You have to work for us." Blah 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 blah. So I had to pack my things and leave and leave without even looking behind. So yeah, but. I think I have peace of mind now. However, the thing I'm doing now is it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard, and you need to be patient with. I need to be so patient with the person I'm taking care of. But with time, with time, I know I will adjust, and I really don't want to think about how maybe when things fail i go back i want to adjust to his disabilities to his impatience to to everything so that i can complete this and i don't have i don't want to draw an hour from my programs that's why i've taken long to make this decision i've been holding on for so long so i think i can do this I'm going to try my little best to do whatever I have to do. Yeah, yeah. And the most exciting thing with that, I'm about to go back home. Okay, I still have some time here, but at least I'm not so, 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 so. I'm not so, so, so far away from going back home. So I'm going to be patient. I'm going to be patient. I'm going to do what I'm supposed to do. I'm going to. I'm not doing this. To me, I'm not doing this as as a houseman. I'm doing the job I'm doing now, right now, as a social worker. That's when I can handle this situation better. That's what I think. So 
the things I'm doing now, mm, I don't want to talk about what I'm doing now, but soon or later you will know if I have the courage of telling you what what I endure a day, what I go through, what I'm about what things I'm doing, blah, 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 blah. But I'm okay. I'm okay. Thank you for your support, by the way. Yeah. So, I think this is going to be my last video. One of the last videos before... Yes, one of the last videos to talk about that saga. So, I'm going to leave that in the past. And, yeah. We continue with our that in the past and we'll continue with our youtube just like before thank you for your support guys thank you for the encouraging messages i really appreciate and thank you for the love you make me strong yeah you make me strong thank you so 